Temperatures have been below average here today and we'll continue to see some below average temperatures, at least for tonight. But so uh, we can see some up and down temps and then maybe even the chance for some rain and some snow on the way later this week. Outside currently, we just have those partly cloudy skies, so we do have some cloud cover out there as uh, we look on our Louis Donato live camera right along Highway 52 looking north. Temperatures right now are at uh, 25 and we have feel like temps right at 14. Winds are out of the north at about 13 miles per hour. As we look at temperatures here locally, 23 right now in Albert Lee, 25 in Dodge Center in Owatonna, and we have 24 currently in Mason City. So we will see these temperatures potentially getting down into the single digits. Uh, later on tonight, a couple flurries might be possible south of I-90 here tonight, but we will work in, I think, some clear skies by tomorrow. Hopefully see some sunshine. High temperatures will still stay, I think, below seasonal averages for tomorrow. As a whole here in the upper Midwest, the uh, central plains, everything quiet, but we will be watching another low pressure system that's off the coast of the west coast here. will dip down towards the Rocky Mountain region, potentially impacting us late this upcoming week. So those headlines here tonight, cold temperatures, lots of increasing clouds. We have that currently this week here as a whole. We're warm. Now there will be some days this week, maybe Wednesday, Thursday. We're reaching maybe the mid 40s and then temperatures will drop. We could see a 20 degree swing from about Thursday extending into Friday. That is because our next storm system moves in. Winter is not over just quite yet. I know the calendar doesn't say it's spring yet. Uh, we do see that threat for maybe a couple little light showers on Wednesday. A wintry mix starting out as rain on Thursday and then as temperatures drop, we transition to more of a rain snow mix. Snow will be possible coming up Friday and into Saturday. Some accumulations will be possible too. So as we look at our winter weather potential here looking possible in some spots, especially in that lighter orange, likely in those darker orange where we have some of those impacts there from some wintry weather that looks to be to the west. I-35 would be right through here. It looks to be to the west of I-35, but we'll continue to watch that through the rest of this week. Temperatures here tonight getting down into the lower teens and if, if not even the upper single digits by tomorrow morning. Kind of depends on how light our winds are and how much cloud cover we have here tonight. Temperatures through the day tomorrow will warm into the lower 30s. Winds will be out of the south. The notice uh, close to around 31, 32 degrees, so just slightly below average for tomorrow with some sunshine. As we move through Wednesday, then notice, uh, watch these temperatures all the way up into the mid 40s before that approaching storm system starts to move in, which I do think we add uh, to some of these snowfall totals that we have this month here as a whole. We're at 6.6 .6 inches uh, through today's date. That is a surplus of 2.4 inches for us. We look at the season as a whole 56.5. That is just slightly above seasonal averages uh, for about the past 20 to 30 years. So we do have a surplus and I think that will continue here as we have some of those snow chances ahead. Seven degrees for the overnight low tonight, partly cloudy and cold as we look towards tomorrow. 28 for the high. We're partly cloudy tomorrow, so some sunshine, high temperatures into the upper 20s and some lower 30s. 70 forecast here, 42, then 41 Wednesday and Thursday. That's next storm system moves in. Could see the chance for some snow coming up on St. Patrick's Day. Cammie?